Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 10 of Divinity Original Sin 2 on the Xbox One X. We have done a little bit of running around off camera, or I have, and as I said at the end of part 9, I've been to the blacksmith with the Red Prince because he's the best bartering I have of level 2, and sold a whole bunch of stuff we didn't need and we've clocked up a bit of coinage to be able to go and finally buy ourselves some spells. Now, 2 of these characters have Hydrophysis 2 and I want some of these watery spells uh, the Red Prince and Fane both have it and I'm going to give them to Fane these two spells because they a lot of them work off intelligence and Fane has the best intelligence and the person with these things be quite with these spell books is Rezik my friend though it doesn't <clears throat> to ponder. he strangely has no money but he has lots of uh, items we want so, let's have a look through them. I thought I'd made my mind up. But I've got a couple of options here. I think we've got enough to buy two level one books or one level two book. And they are, but well, both the, the Red Prince and Thane are both on level two Hydrophysist. So, what do we have? We've got the Restoration Spell Book, which we've already got, which is level one. That's the That's that one there. That's the healing one. Um, we've got the Winter Blast spell book. A skill book, I should call them. Not spell book. Skill book. Now, this is a Hydrophysis 2. So, this is an expensive one. It's 432. Gold. We've got 565. Uh, deal 16 to 17 water damage and set chilled status on characters in the area. Freeze blood and water surfaces. Set chilled for two turns, one memory slots, damage is based on your level. Alright, so you get a memory slot from learning this, do you? That's good. Damage is based on your level and receives bonus from intelligence, which is why I'm going to give these spells to Fane, because he's got high intelligence. Resisted by magic armor. Uh, Alright, it's resisted by magical armor then. You watch out for the for those. I think most magic things will be like that though, won't they? Requires Hydrophysis 2, which we have on two characters. Cooldown 3 turns and meter is 13. Uh, range is 13 meters. Uh, now that is an option, but I preferred... Ice Fan, which was the other level 2 one. Which target three positions and shoot an ice shard at each one. Dealing 7 to 8 water damage and making targets chilled. Set chilled for one turn, gives one memory slot, damage is based on your level, and receives bonus from intelligence, again Fane. Resisted by magic armor, they all are. Requires Hydrophysis 2, which we have. So you're kind of attacking three air, uh, three positions, which is good. Um, again, it's an expensive one. So if I went for either of those two I've just said, I'd only be able to get one spell. However... The others are 273 a piece. Uh, so that's 540, yeah, 546 if my maths is right. So we could buy two of these and give him two spells instead of one. Which may be slightly handier in a fight so far as you get, you know, the tur with the turn cooldowns you'll get another move you can make. So we've got Rain. Which creates a spreading water surface which douses fire. Set wet status on characters in the area. Now that could be well handy if we are all on fire. However, the cooldown is six turns, which is a fair bit. Uh, duration lasts for two turns, so I suppose your cooldown only relevant for four turns. Uh, so that's an option. That would be very handy in the likes of the... The fight we just had with those fire beetles, for sure. Um, and then we've got Hail Strike, which is one I really fancied. And that's icicles fall from the sky, chilling enemies and dealing 67 water damage. They create ice surfaces where they hit the ground. Uh, now, the only downside to this is, uh, again, uh, receives a bonus from intelligence. You get a memory slot. Damage is based on the level that you're at. Uh, requires hard offices one, cooldown three turns, and blah. So, at, at the moment, I'm kind of leaning towards Hellstrike and Rain. 
Um, there's also Armour of Frost, which I'm not that fussed about at the minute. And Soothing Cold, which restores armour and stuff. So, I'm thinking... Hail Strike and Rain. Let's do it. And we're getting a bit of a discount here because of our bartering skills. So, let's do Rain. And... Hail Strike. <gasps> well, we've gone and done it now, people. Right. Let's be careful here. <laughs> Center Fane. Center Fane. Who should have slots. I think we checked him earlier. Seemed to have a lot of free slots. So we should be alright to put them into his... Into his menu for battle. And we'll just check. <clears throat> what are we checking for? Oh yeah, I want to know what his... Uh, yeah, his... Intelligence is 10. And his is 15. So that's the difference. That'd be the big difference. So we'll get a bigger push on uh, Fane's attribute of intelligence there. More damage. More effect. It's the right call. I've pretty much made the decision now that I'm not going to change this team at the minute. Because to redo half of this stuff would be a right pain. Right. Do it, Steve. Do it. Ooh. Hellstrike and Rain both learned. There we go. Right. We're adding to our arsenal, people. We're adding to it. Right. That's left us a little bit of dry cash. But we do have a piece of armour that I'm not using, which is worth... 200 and something if I'm really stuck. I've hung on to it just in case. It's this piece of... Uh... At the moment, I'm wearing a piece of level 3 armour, which has 5% fire resistance, 5% earth resistance, plus 6 HP, and reflects 10% of melee damage as fire damage. However, we have this other piece here, which is a level 4 piece, which has plus one strength on it, and 15 physical, 3 magic. It's not that much of a difference, but it is meant to be slightly better, I think. So I've just hung on to it for the time being. It's a unique piece of, uh, unique piece of our armour, um, as is this piece. But we'll see how we go. It's really annoying me that he's not got better, uh, better gloves and stuff. But anyway. Right! So, in this particular part 10, people, we want to be doing, I think, Irma. If anybody knows where this girl Irma is, from what I've checked up on, on the PC, it was a bit of a buggy quest. Now, if it's been sold, if it's been rectified now, I get the feeling that she's not actually in this area, from what I'm reading. And she might be somewhere when you leave this area. If anyone knows any different, then let me know. So, I'm going to kind of ignore that for now. So we're going to do the Withermore quest, Night Withermore quest, which was the guy in the cave with the little lad. And then we're going to do the Mad Blokes quest, who's right in front of us here. This guy here. But we'll do the Withermore one first, and then we'll come back to this guy. That guy seems to want me to separate from the team for whatever reason. The Withermore one. is here right I think we'll have a save before we do this as it happens now that we've got our new spells still not got any bloody resurrection scrolls but anyway <laughs> see how far we get there has to be a way of activating this thing without having to go through 55 candles 
Come on. Just the one. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods. Notice the button with the more described and press its worn surface. You hear a strange sound, like rusted hinges creaking and air rushing through a hatch. Tunnel. A hatch appears behind the shrine. My words, he has spoken. Lucian has spoken. The eternal prayer. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's freaking out. Oh my god, something happened! Hatch to the underground. Ah, uh, oh. <laughs> well, does that not mean we've done it then? What did we need? Uh, I see, I see, I see. Right, so we've come into this the other way. So... Right, we need to check the journal. Not that way, Steve. The proper way. Right, we agreed to help Sir Withermore. A switch on the courtyard statue leads to phylactery room and his soul jar. All right, so there's a soul, the phylactery room and his soul jar. Lord Withermore's curse is lifted. If we destroy his soul jar, he will help us escape the fort. Deal with Withermore's, Withermore's lance. We met an undead knight. Skewered. Yeah, we've done that. Right, so. A switch on the courtyard statue leads to the phylactery room and his soul jar. So we need to find a phylactery room. Of which I haven't seen down here. And I can tell you that for certain. Well, the only the only thing I can think of is that it's on the main floor. torch holder. I thought, it was, I thought it said like hold for torch or something. So what did that say when we went into that then? Didn't say anything did it? it just says holding cells when we go into the other bit. I think we're going to have to just chance going up to the main floor if that's the case, because... That's a vase. Vase. Broken vase. Holding cells. Ask her if she knows where it is. Who are you? Who are nope, she knows nothing. Nobody tells her nothing. Well, these are just holding cells, aren't they? I'm sure it would say for lecture room if it was anywhere here. And this guy is now dead. <laughs> God damn it. We were supposed to try and help him, people. Now we don't know what the damn password... Oh, shit. Now we don't know what the damn password is. You don't even get any loot off him. That's crap, isn't it? 
It's interesting, you only get a limited amount of time for him, though. Well, at least now we know, I suppose. I think this is upstairs, this thing. I think we're going to have to go up the main floor. There'll be a storm coming, Harry. There's all me poison arrow and all that all up there. Oh, because it's... Must be coming from something else, mustn't it? Oh, because that is a... Oh, idiot. It's just that one that's in the wrong place. That should really be down here somewhere. Down arrow, me thinks. Well, here goes nothing. Still thought Joy Prison. Not noticed as yet, have they? Gonna get well flanked here. Bloody hellfire. Minor healing potion. Up the steps. Oh, hounds. Here we go. Christ's sake, this is a bit of a fight, isn't it? Stuff everywhere. Well, we're going to get flanked and spanked here. There's two behind us. Three behind us. This is the way out, though. Oh, blimey, people. We can't take that many yellows on. Look how many there is. Gonna get hammered. She's a level four. Yeah, we kind of cocked this up because the guy... The guy would have helped us with that. Mind you, we're level 4 as well now, to be fair. It depends if they all come at us at once. Everything that's inside this area should. Um...
Oh dear. Well, we could try it. We've just saved it before going in, but I can't see how we how we win it. No one's attacked us yet, to be fair. He spotted. Well, no one's attacking us, are they? Oh, it's a lever. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why no one's attacking us, but anyway. Holy shit. There's poison in front of us. Well, this could be the very sort of area that... Uh... Right, I think we're going to have to... I don't know how we get past that. Normally, you have to block something. Yeah, you do, look. trap so normally you can list stuff onto them like uh, there's a skill in the levitate the chances are if I run into that cloud it's gonna uh, kill me the question is though is this what we're looking for certainly looks like it, doesn't it? This, yeah, it looks very similar to the Divinity one where you're up in the clouds and all that. It's probably nothing to do with that, but... I think this is where we're meant to be, people. But we need to find a way around this poison. Uh... Oh, hello. We could teleport somebody. Teleport to the other side. Teleport to the other side. Give over. What a cop out that is. <laughs> you can't teleport yourself, can you? Okay, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Everybody stop. I need to know how much damage that poison is going to do. So, I might be running out of save slots here. Yeah. Yet again. Commit, Stephen, commit. So... Use the L. Oh, oh here we go. I can pick it up. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but... Woo, he's a clever boy. Oh, can't do that for some reason. I hope. Hey, why not? I can move it there. Is it just the distance? Could just be the distance. Hang on. 
Oh, mind you, do I not need to use the lizard? Is that not what it's trying to tell me? Yeah, it could be. Hang on. For God's sake, people, move out of the way. Oh, I'll tell you what, people. I'll tell you what. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm just too good. Looks like this place has been sealed up for a century or two. There could wow. be a good reason why no one dared to enter in the meantime. Here lies Withermore, the Nox. There we go. There's Withermores. Now we need to know how to destroy it. But I bet you any money we destroy it and he's a nasty bastard and he tries to kill us. Here lies Withermore, the Sage. Oh Christ, here we go. Right. Here lies Withermore, the cold-hearted. Here lies Withermore, the yellow-bellied. Here lies Withermore, the supplicant. Right, well, Christ knows what we do when we pick the wrong one. Let's have a look about before we get stuck in, shall we? Ancient passage. Shrine to Bracchus. So, this is your place, Bracchus. Can't say I like what you've done with the place. Can't say I like what you've done with the place. Alright, okay. It's one of them, is it, where it's just a conversation? More on the other side. Open the tombs on the other side. Alas, poor soul, better that you weren't acquainted. Well... We now need to make a decision as to which one to. Here lies Withermore the Noxious. Here lies Withermore the Sage. Hmm. Here lies Withermore the Yellow Bellied. Let's try the Yellow Bellied one, see what we get. Well, <laughs> sorry, I know it's a lot of saving people, but let's uh, have a quick save before we kick it off, shall we? Seems reasonable. I had a feeling this was going to happen. So, how many have we got? One from each team, is it? Looks like it, doesn't it? Who 
Who are we on here? Right, we're on... Yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on. We've got someone there as well. He's a level four. Right. Uh... God's sake, can't go very far, can I? God damn it, people. Can't hear bloody anything from here. Right, sod it. We have to move. Who attacks who? Right, this is me, Archer, so... Hang on a minute, can I get up to... Well, if I move to there, he shouldn't be able to hit me, should he? In fact, very little can hit me from there. Hopefully. All of my shields and half my health with one move. Because that's fair. Right, we can't stay down here. We're going to have to get a shift on. Um... Bloody hell, how did he go up there? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't what I wanted him to do, for God's sake. I was meant to stay down the bottom so that he could bloody... Oh, never mind. Right. Damn. That were a bit silly. Right, never mind. Should have done one of them first. Spring down the rain, shall we? Get rid of that fire damage. sake, I've not even had a chance to move her yet. Look at the state of her. I've already healed her once. It's taken me two moves to get up to where I need to be for these guys.
Uh, actually, I might try. Knockdown arrow. Well, that worked, didn't it? What shots does that guy get? Why am I not going out? It's raining. Yeah, I'm blinded, aren't I? Well, guess what? I can't cure. <laughs> Um, use a move that doesn't require me seeing much, I suppose. Oh, I won't use that yet, actually. It's not going to work, is it? Shoot them into the stairs is what I'll end up doing. I don't think it's going to help her much, to be fair. Actually, there's a point. Why is he not... Oh, I haven't got a restoration. I thought I had a restoration book on him. Hmm. No, I've not. For some reason, I thought I'd picked up another restoration heal book, and I hadn't. Well, we need to buy that, don't we? Thought we had two people with heal spells. Never mind. Oh, I think this fight's too tough for me, people. Adasto's... Uh Now she's probably going to slip on her ass now, isn't she, when she tries to move. Can't reach anybody, I bet, yet. Yeah, too far, too far, too far. Right, let's just get her out of the way, shall we? She didn't have anything that will get her sorted out.
God damn it. I thought I was going to be able to reach that guy and I can't. Complete waste of a bloody point, that. Nothing that she. Oh, hang on. Might better use that. Give him something to think about. He's still blinded or not? I oh, know he's not as it happens. Does that cure electric stuff? No. This whole fight is just basically me. Trying to help other people. I'm going to teleport them anyway, decent, am I? That was the big fella out, though, I suppose. High ground damage for twenty percent. Resisted death, Christ. That's how close we are to it now. Quite get there, can I? I need to um, ah. want to get that big guy there.
Oh, fucking get in. That was awesome. Go on, girl. Oh, Flurry takes three. Damn. Uh... Oh, what are we thinking? To be honest, the closer I am to her, the better, because she's got a bow. Is there anything in the inventory we can use? That'll be a no. Right. Just give myself a bit of a... Bit of a protection, I think. How the fuck has she got? Oh, it's physical damage, I suppose. Yeah. Well, this has all become pointless now. Damn. There's far too much time with her spent on... Uh, I've no scrolls to get people up, and I'm nearly, uh... Gain two points immediately, but lose two action points over uh, next turn. Gain one action point immediately. That wouldn't be enough. That's nonsense. Oh no, wait. That's three, yeah. Uh... Of course, can't use Flurry again, can I? Well, that was silly. <laughs> silly, 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 silly. gonna die on the next hit anyway <laughs> oh blimey I don't understand what just happened. Restore physical armor and then it didn't do anything. 
Oh, did it do it on him? I thought it was going to do it on her. Seems reasonable. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I can't. Nice move. Ooh, what now? Hail strike. It's out of reach, isn't it? Too far away from death, there, are we? Play dead, maybe. Try out the new move. Goodbye. Dear, oh dear. I'm not even sure that's going to hit. I'm right next to him and I can't move, use this move on him. What's that all about? Vein dead. Nice. Lone wolf now. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Absolute fucking joke, that is. That's really annoying, actually. I was really close to having three of them get through that.
Not quite going to reach, is it? It takes two to cast it right now. I'll do it. <laughs> How is it saying my turn and that guy's getting to fucking hump me with it? It's all about. Well. What is going on? Stop it. Bloody beast, this guy. Yeah, flanked. Flanked and spanked. This could be the shot. Death shot. I oh, know. Oh, Jesus Christ. He gets another turn. Give over. Nonsense, that is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bye-bye. Blimey, eh? There's only one left in the end. Well, now. How can we do that any better? Oh, that was the autosave when it kicked off, I think. Well, good grief. It seems to me... Well, I think that it was the right idea I had, but... It takes that long to get to them because they're all scattered around the room. That I mean, we know where they're going to come from. I mean, I could try a different one right enough. Um, or it could be that one of these is the magic one that doesn't make it kick off into a fight so I could investigate that however we have reached that over the hour mark people or the hour mark and I think to take it on again it probably <laughs> could be here for three quarters of an hour more so I think what I'm going to do is have a ch I'm going to chew that over that fight it was a good fight actually I was really enjoying that battle um Obviously, the lack of resurrection. If I had a couple of resurrection scrolls, that would have been a doddle, that. But, we don't. So, I'd like to be able to get through that fight without dying. Or one of these fights. But I think in the next part, 
either I'll have a little investigation or maybe you guys can give me a hint as to what the best one to pick is and we'll come in or we could just try each one and see what the battles are like in this room um, because we, we've got this save we can keep going backwards and forwards with it so there you are it has been an honor and a privilege serving for you in this part 10 of divinity 2 divinity original sin 2 even eh? no point in shortening the name and i shall see you all in part 11 folks take it easy bye